exhibit, the poster exhibit on display at the Colby when I first saw those images, uh, just visually and kind of aesthetically, I was, I was really intrigued. And I thought, wow, how might we take imagery of microorganisms that aren't even visible, um, how do we take that first image from the electron microscope and pull that image into a three-dimensional object? So, I have the cockpit floor. The organism itself actually takes these cockles, these shields, and they create almost a sphere. Now when it dies, all these shields fall to the seafloor and they um, are surrounded by the remnants of shells uh, and they create these calcium deposits. And these calcium deposits then go on to become limestone, right? I kind of literally came right back around in the circle um, and through this limestone have now made a couple of again. It's a benthic diatom, which I believe means it sits on the bottom of the ocean. It consists of two halves, um, and one half sits inside the other, kind of like a petri dish. And so, I, with the stone portion, I uh, really wanted to exaggerate that two half um, phenomenon that the wood is representing the two halves um, separating during asexual uh, cell division. Um, but that was the original um, inspiration for that. Some of the literature I read was more about the diversity of marine microorganisms, and also I just, like look at all of the tiny giants. There's such a wide range of shapes and sizes, so I really focused on that more than just my specific diatom. And then to go with my wood, it's sort of supposed to represent like a phylogenetic tree. And so going based with that diversity theme and kind of how, you know, how each diatom fits in the bigger scheme of things. There is a prominent feature called the ray feed that's um, basically a slit on the facade of the diatom and it's used uh, to propel itself through its environment. I try to create a wake um, that the diatom can travel through. Uh, so the purpose of this was to kind of um, highlight that, that fact that something so so small can have such a big impact on the ocean, something on such a large scale. Uh, it was quite an experience uh, marrying those uh, two aspects together, learning about the diatom and also um, how, how, how these materials work, you know, putting something that's so like intellectual into something that's, and translating into something that's so artistic.